the last yeah. Show. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Oh my yeah, god, just get yourself a note it. person. And How they many times we reread it, things. Oh my yeah, god. It, it's like that player in your campaign that just like takes notes religiously yes. just in yeah. your daily life. Most likely yeah. the rules lawyer or the min maxer, but God bless so them. A secretary. For, for keeping track of <laughs> shit. <laughs> Well, actually, uh, Acquisitions Incorporated came up with a great term for it. The Secretarian. Really? The Secretarian. Mm. Yeah, Interesting. I like Interesting. it. Yeah, like because uh, Ag Inc. had uh, these little job roles that the uh, party could take in addition to their class and everything. And they got like uh, special mm -hmm. items and features from it. And like Secretarian was one of those. And then there's like a Colton. Which, right. Uh, a cultant. Yeah, you you gotta keep Hold track of the value of, of money, of deaths and I stuff. Love it. Like you get, you gotta track all the deaths, and it's like, okay, well, we killed this thing, and that that's worth that much. It it seems like just a, such a bizarre thing, but at the same time, having like extra jobs on top of everything was just a lot of right. fun when I ran it. Right. Yeah, your acquisition thing oh, was really fun. <laughs> Yeah, you came into that one a little late. You missed the part where the, our druid decided to wish for uh, the treasure from uh, Dragon's Heist and break a ship. Oh. Yeah, you know, just, uh, I wish for all the go uh, all of uh, Lord Never Ember's gold. And it's like, oh, oh, hold on. I, I got to do a DM math moment. Oh, I'll get right back to you. Yeah, that, that's enough to burst uh, the entire hull of your ship. That's a, that's a lot of gold. <laughs> I don't know, the last time, the last time I saw an artistic depiction of Lord Never Ember, he had a pretty epic beard. So I, I, I think I'll take that. It was an old man white beard, but man, I want his beard. It's the only way I could Ooh. ever be Santa Claus. <laughs> I, I didn't know that you had Santa about beards recently. Uh, do you know? Right. Like, uh, there's it was it's from a TikTok. So take it with a grain of salt. But like, uh, uh -huh. if you have like a good beard, it reduces uh, jaw fractures, lacerations, and bruising really? by up to fifty five percent. So that's just like fifty five percent damage debuff to my face. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Yeah. I should grow a beard. That's amazing. Uh, it's really I, 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 the goal, you know? God, that'd be amazing. That'd be amazing. I've always wanted to be a yeah. Santa Claus. I've been enamored by enamored by Santa Claus since I was a kid. I'm like, I just don't have the builder looks for it unless I wear a I, fucking, I don't know. Uh, Maybe if you do like a half elven Santa, that, that might yeah. work. Yeah. I Hell mean, like yeah. the, the cosplay is already there. You, know? you, could, like, right? you could just uh, throw in some apostrophes, make it more elven. Yeah, right? yeah of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see, uh, Santa is actually the the Elven Lord uh, of the of the Northern Elves, <laughs> <Israel -yor. laughs> right? Oh man! Or I can I, I can be Santa's sexy little half Elven helper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just you know, on. wait a minute. Shut up! You know, probably cut off the sleeves, roll up the shirt, show a little midriff. Yeah, oh, I'll absolutely. Be Santa's sexy side piece right I mean, there. I, I gotta bust it out. Santa, baby, and hurry down the chimney tonight. Oh, shit. Do you know that on guitar? Like, <laughs> hey, I used to get the guitar right there. I, let's <laughs> see. Oh, girl, I, let me pull, let me pull really, up the chords. Really easily. Let me pull up the chords. Oh, God. Yeah, like, 99% of music is just the same well, four on, chords. We don't want to get I'm hit confident. with, like, a copyright strike or something. <laughs> <laughs> right. Co copyright it's the same four chords I, you know i'll bring bring me to court go ahead man a lot of songs are just four chords i guess <laughs> right your honor with all due respect all uh, music is derivative it is honor, with yeah. all due respect you weren't even there you don't even yeah, know yeah. First of all, mind your business. Yes, right? exactly. <laughs> your Honor, this exactly. whole case is a ramshackle affair. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. No, these guys are really basic. I love, I love singing Christmas and music in August. Me too. <laughs> not, not, not ironically, I fucking love Christmas. The weirdest thing is, I heard, um, I heard Jingle Bell Rock earlier today. Oh, Garrett did you? Jacob, we're That's, singing it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it all comes together. <laughs> it all comes back to Christmas. I love it's Christmas music, time, but man, as so much as I love Christmas music, I'm so I did work for... retail. I did work retail where that's all they played, and it fucking still drove me crazy. Uh -huh. And that's saying oh, a lot yeah, for someone fun. who loves Christmas. 
it's one of those things where you either really learn to love the most obscure covers of Christmas songs or just really hate it, all of it all together. And you know right. what? There's like a, some really uh, kind of obscure covers that like were trying to be the Jackson 5 that kind of did it for me. It was like, okay, that y- y'all are my island pretending to be the Jackson 5 in all of this stuff, you know? <laughs> There, there is that one, ah, I forgot what song it was, but I love the Jackson 5 cover of it. It was a Christmas song. Uh, my, my one time working in retail is like a thrift store, so it was just... Oh. Oh, oh yeah, God. It was, it, it, was, it was working... something else. Like, uh, you get the bird lady that kind of rolls up and uh, it's like, hey, uh, can I just bring my, like my two foot long uh, macaw with it's like five foot wingspan. It's like lady. I, I don't know if that's legal or sanitary. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Or well, sanitary. He's looking at chords. Let's start the show. Let's do it. Let's go. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to pretend that he's playing this. Imagine. Electric guitar is over there, but I'm going to pretend I'm the classical. <laughs> This is the most convincing electric I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Dungeons and Talk Shows, the talk show that brings you Santa Baby Dungeons News and Homebrews. <laughs> I, I am your host, nice. Orion. And I am your host, Sam. Welcome back to another episode. It's been and, a little uh, bit. Y'all have heard uh, some mysterious voices with us tonight. I would, Ooh, so why mysterious. don't you introduce yourselves? Well, as you know, <laughs> I'm Hans oh Halfelpen, and here with me is my lovely co-host, Mrow Now. Hi, I'm Mrow, and Hans Halfelpen Girl, is the I don't most, sound like awesome, that. <laughs> most awesome person in the world and the best PvP Aww. warrior in the world of Warcraft. Oh, boy. Ooh. I love him more than anybody. Solid claims. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> No, I'm Hans uh, Staff Felvin. Um, <laughs> your favorite, your favorite half elf bard, probably third favorite streamer. Um, I, I don't know. Like, I, you're really climbing up there. Your first guest that I've seen. Yes. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. I'll play it for you too. And yeah, that's the bar, that's the bard yeah, life. The first baby. time for everything. We at some right. point we needed to have a bard on the show. Yeah, hell I mean, yeah, hell yeah. He's got that bard core, you know, and I'm I'm here for it. Hell it's yeah. great. Hell yeah, hell yeah. And uh uh and we have this staple stream called Unearth My Arcana, mm. um, in which we do homebrew reviews. It's very chill, very much like very the vibe sexy. that we have that you guys are have very sexy. Oh yeah, oh, yes. Yes. very much like yeah. the vibe that you guys hear at the nerd militia, and awesome. you know the, um and the show is Nothing without my awesome co-host, Morale. Oh, yeah. Hi. Welcome, Hi. welcome. Now, I, I, we got to address it at some point, right? Uh, the, the elephant <laughs> in the it, room? This is our first VTuber, right? Is this, this is going on? Yeah. That, I, I'm all about it, just because, like, she's got the wings. <laughs> I like it. I like right? It. Cool. Thank you. I made... And rigged this all myself. Nice. That's even more impressive, honestly. Oh, it's right? one of those things where like a lot of people pay it. someone else to do it. But if you want a job done right and you need to be able to troubleshoot things when they go wrong, you gotta do it yourself. Gotta do it yourself, baby. I yeah. have no opposition to paying a professional. The thing yeah. is, I have no money to pay a professional. <laughs> so exactly. Yeah, so I have to do it myself. <laughs> Uh, so like how how complicated does like the rigging get so it depends on what you're going for if you're going with a very like um a very basic Mm v-roid you'll have maybe 20 or so blend shapes and head eye bones mouth Mm -hmm. bone a tongue bone maybe all the the basic points of articulation <laughs> but if you want uh, something that has mm. more depth that will work with Apple's AR, you're going to need about 52, I think. 
Yeah, uh, we were discussing a little bit of yeah. Apple's AR before the show, and it's like it's just yeah. fascinating stuff. Because like, I know we have other people in the Discord, and you know we've you know we talked to who are into doing like the rigging stuff like that. Like, I'm pretty sure like Kersey did one. Right? Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Nice. I think it's interesting. I've never really yeah looked into the like the VTuber stuff too much. Uh, because I'm kind of like, I don't really understand it. So but I think it's I, interesting. I like the OCs and the art and everything. It's really cool. I love the evolution of Morale's uh, VTuber. It started out as a, a 2D one, right, mm-hmm. Morale? I started and out like, as Drow. Drow, and then yeah. the OGL debacle <laughs> happened, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to get out before I'm on fire. Thank you. Right. So, yeah. It, just call, abandon ship, call. get like mm-hmm. the whole thing together. Like mm-hmm. I, I remember I like a couple of years before we one even started letter, the I'm podcast. Fine. Like, uh, uh, I had initially thought about getting into VTubing, and I wanted to do like kind of like a PNG yeah. tuber yeah. thing with like a thump. Oh, that'd just, be so cute. Nice. I did not have the commitment to like finish the rig. <laughs> How would you? How would you even do that? Well, <laughs> you see that 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 Sam is part of the problem. There's a lot of tentacles involved. Do you remember if flumps have like faces? Uh, I know we did an episode on flumps, of, but uh, I don't yeah, they got the eye stocks and the little mouth on top. Yeah, and, uh, they, they could be expressive, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that'd they, be that, really cute, especially yeah. if you made everything like a mm-hmm. like a fizz bone. Mm. Huh? You would just move your head and all of the tentacles and everything would wiggle <laughs> around. That'd be incredible. That'd be really funny. And then just like, kind of like attach some like the, the arm hand stuff to like just a couple tentacles. And I think what would really tie it together oh, yeah. is you'd have to like, have Oh some... my god. You'd yeah. have to make it kind of like a mood thing because flumps are expressive in that way. Ooh, yeah. So some of the facial reactions would have to be translated into colors. That'd be interesting. Mm. That'd be dope. I, I'd love uh, to I, I can see the logistics turning in your head. <laughs> Maybe somebody out there likes this idea and will hit you up. <laughs> you, you know what? It, f- anybody in the audience, feel free to steal this idea. Just let me see how it works. I, I, I want to, you know, I'd like to see it. But, you know, be like, that, that that's him. I, I was there when it was conceived. <laughs> I was there boy. during the inception. <laughs> I was there during the embryonic stages. <laughs> the conception, buddy. Conception. <laughs> I was there whenever the top wouldn't stop spinning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wrong top, buddy. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, you're talking about, okay. You're talking about Leonardo DiCaprio. Sorry. Sorry. Far testosterone levels. Mm. <laughs> You can't keep a You're good on bar fire down. Tonight, bud. You can't keep a good bar down, especially between the legs. <laughs> My son. <laughs> My son. <laughs> Not so tell us more about uh, some of the uh, content you do. Like uh, you, you mentioned yeah. uh, reviewing sure. homebrew. Sure. So one of our staple streams. Um, so so my so uh my channel, which is also uh very much home to uh morale. Uh that's it where started I do out, the most. Yeah, yeah. It started out Hans loves D D. And uh, eventually the it wasn't the OGL meant to be, thing. <laughs> right. And then the OGL mm. thing. Actually I, I changed it before yeah. the OGL thing, thank God. But um yeah. <laughs> uh slow like uh when we developed the community. And then when I started cosplaying, um, that's when the Hans F. Elvin persona came about. The Hans F. Elvin persona, I can't say I'm 100% responsible for that. That's the community. That, that I just started calling stuff, oh, I'm Hans F. Elvin. Okay, that sounds catchy and whatnot. And then we started, w- along with the community, we started creating the lore, the backstory right, for Hans. Right. Yeah, and the channel is, uh, is, is very centric to TTRPGs, but we also do other stuff. We also do video games. For once in a while, we'll do a Hans Not Elven stream where I co- stream something completely other than TTRPGs. Like and one of our we had Superhero Summer where you were. Yeah, uh, we had Superhero uh, Summer. Yeah, you were... what's that? Uh, Superhero Summer is when we made the streams uh, very superhero centric. I was mm-hmm. cosplaying uh, Clark Kent. With, I had the my Clark Kent yeah. glasses. So I had cute. a dress shirt. Ah, oh, thank you. And I had the Superman shirt underneath, so it looks like I'm you know I'm just ripping oh yeah, it open. show me that ass, right. baby. Oh yeah, show me that ass. That was that was a <laughs> yeah, channel. You know that was redeemed. 
you got the right face for a Clark Kent and with like the hair and stuff, you know. People, people like it. I've cosplayed Clark Kent for 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 uh <laughs> for a while with that whole setup because it's cheap. I have a dress shirt, I have a tie, I have mm. a Superman shirt, and then just bam, yeah, right there. It just kind of like uh, burst uh, it right open, bam, it's just bam, exactly. Push yeah. out the pecs. Exactly, and he is he is my favorite DC superhero, so it works, right? <laughs> Yeah, and uh, honestly, the the biggest struggle with Superman in modern DC is, uh, you know, you can't find a good phone booth anywhere. Right, right. Not in these times. <laughs> this right. economy? Are you kidding me? <laughs> right. <laughs> Ain't nobody right. got five cents to make a collect call. Yeah. Right. I, no one's accepting me, collect calls. <laughs> right. You just gave me an imagery of Superman super speeding to a museum. To find a fucking po- phone booth and then and then <laughs> uh, and then uh, switching costumes there, getting changed yeah, in a so McDonald's it's bathroom because like right. consumers aren't going to museums, so it's like a ghost town in there anyway. Yeah, exactly, Ooh. exactly. No one's gonna see him. No one's gonna see him. That's hilarious. But yeah, um, our our channel is very centric to TTRPG, D and D, Pathfinder, and whatnot. And one of our staple um, streams is called Unearth uh, My Arcana, in which we do homebrew reviews and um just like here same vibe here we're very we're very chill about it um we we opened the stream with a song of course i i I performed the um i performed the under my arcana theme song live yeah you guys want to hear it always yes yes i was just about to ask i I know you like the barcore stuff all right let's go (laughs) (laughs) sorry if i'm a little bit off again i i I, i'm just that i'm like 98 percent recovered Gather round adventurers, for it's that time again to unearth your arcana along with our cat friend. Yeah. We'll uncover some mysteries of lore and magic items. And with your ever loving consent, we'll go deep with both hands. <laughs> on earth, really? on earth, on earth, your arcana with haunts. Yes. On earth, on earth, on earth, your arcana with morale. On earth, on earth. My motherfucking arcana. <laughs> yes, girl. Yes. Oh, yeah. Mor- morale is usually my ad lib, my, my, my ad lib backup singer for I, that. I couldn't Depending think of anything because I was on. so concerned that my hands wouldn't track. <laughs> Oh, so no, I just oh, no. idly groped the screen. Yeah, <laughs> I, I found yeah, that yeah. hilarious. Like, that's great. Nice. Like, like I, 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 I love like the execution of that because like it slowly builds up and then it kind of like uh, gets right into like the the breakdown of it. Like, uh, thank you. I, like it, it's I very think the last time I, <laughs> Honestly, the last time I saw something uh, done right like that was a uh, like a. In Star vs. the Forces of Evil with that Bardcore uh, dude, like he has to write a song about the main character. Uh-huh. Listen, I, I got kids. That's basically my, hey, I, I got to watch cartoons license. <laughs> there you go. Oh. You, know, you, can go, you can go and watch like the old cartoons. Oh, really? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Kirby, that was a wild thing. Because, uh, like, the Saturday morning cartoon uh, block with, like, Kirby and Sonic X, like, that they they went over the top with all these American versions of, like, the songs. Like, they didn't have to, but it was in the... T- mm-hmm. it, it, it worked. It really did. Fuck yeah. Like... Dude, Sonic X or the gotta go fast. Yeah. Was like that was my jam. Like when I was in third grade and I was in like a, this little uh, basketball league uh, on Saturdays, I had to go in to uh, <laughs> do like uh, these uh, games in the in the morning and like just conveniently timed. Uh, I'd get all amped up on Sonic X. Gotta go fast. Yeah. Gotta go fast. <laughs> and then I go in and I'm all hyped up on the gotta go fast. And then like, I'd start uh, uh, giving all these little smarties to my uh, other uh, teammates at, and telling nice. them that they are entered, that they are uh, performance enhancers because sugar makes you hyper. Bruh. 
<laughs> That's hilarious. Oh I love I love that Sonic animated TV series, the one that uh Jaleel White uh voice. Like oh. Like, oh. Like, <laughs> yeah. No, no worries. No worries. <laughs> so yeah, we do we do homebrew reviews. We take some from the com- from the community first from our Discord. And we do have a we do have a um a homebrew forge in our Discord channel where people can categorize and and um and archive their homebrews. Yeah, and awesome. um yeah, and we're like uh, the the way the way Morale and I really look at this, like the main thing that we're looking at is this is this fun? Is this fun? Is this immersive? Yeah. You know, if something's a little OP, something's a little bit, you know, uh and, ineffective or, or whatnot all that can be adjusted but like the main yeah. thing we're looking at is like you know is this is this something that uh is this something that people can have fun with and yeah. not just in a way to use as this maybe something they can modify oh, yeah. take ideas from yeah, yeah. and Absolutely. we do a yeah it's adaptable exactly and we have a but rating system we as well oh yeah. nice nice yeah, yeah, our rating like, system's a bit different. It's not like it's not like oh, we you know we give this a five out of ten or whatnot. Our rating system is based off um is based off like the MMORPG looting system, which is need, uh, greed, and ah uh, okay. Yeah, so, and, and we do a poll and like okay, need means you absolutely must have this in your campaign as a DM or a player. Greed right. means you think this is cool, you think this is great, you don't absolutely have to have it, but you do, but you do like it. And pass means you either don't like it or maybe you do like it, but it's just not for you. Maybe it's a warlock patron and you don't you don't play warlock. Ah, okay. So yeah. it, it's that uh, World of Warcraft uh, system. <laughs> yeah, because like exactly. I, I only know about it because like my wife is like uh, she had to Love go to that. rehab for World of Warcraft addiction because wow. Uh, Wow, wow crack is a very real thing. Damn. I, I should I should have I, I've been playing since 2015. <laughs> a hardcore <laughs> hardcore rated PvP. I, I'm I, I'm addicted. I actually took a break last season because I'm like, ah, uh, with everything going on with 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 my with my toddler sleep schedule changing, it's it's hard to commit mm-hmm. to this. But yeah, I feel yeah. it. Every season I lose you. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, contrary to popular belief, addiction is a commitment. Like you have to wake up addiction every morning and be like, I'm going right. for it. I'm going right. for it. Learn that's how it's gonna be the month that the wild comes out. But you're lucky I don't have a PS5. <laughs> uh, you know that what, Sam? Uh, we, we might be able to uh, we might be able to adjust that. You see, my my father in law went and oh. smashed a PS five, so uh, I ended up picking that up out of the yard. And uh, you know, uh, it, it's mine now. I just got to repair it. Me, if you repair it, there you go. What, 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 what you like at that? Uh, <laughs> yeah, now you're like a whole lot of uh, untreated uh, mental. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. I, Fair. I yeah, thought he, it was a bit. No, 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 no. He he had a full on episode. Oh, uh, he chased so a dude sorry. with a pickaxe. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't know if I could <laughs> ever <laughs> have an episode so intense that I would smash a PS5. Not because I really badly oh. want a PS5 or I, I'm that big. Don't get me wrong. I, I'll pick PlayStation over Xbox. But just like, man, I, I, if I didn't buy this, someone else did. I can't, I can't smash this. I'll, you know, yeah, I'll punch yeah. a wall and patch it up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, uh, I learned how to patch holes, and then like I went. Uh, it's one of those things where like the. Uh, I tripped one night and fell into my wall. So I, it, instead of just repairing this massive sorry. me-sized hole in my wall, I'm just like, you know, what? I'm just gonna cut the edges and turn it into a shelf. You know, I saw that. I saw that on the Discord. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> just take, just cut some two by sixes. Yeah, it's right. good. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. That's how it was designed. It was like you this know, when I incidentally, got it. <laughs> Two by sixes uh, fit D and D books just fine. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, Today see, you learned. <laughs> Maybe I'll smash some more walls. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> make room for more books. <laughs> yeah, you know uh, that that D and D collection. It like bookshelves aren't cheap they do what you gotta bo- do, because books themselves are, are expensive. So you know, right? D and D books are forever. All right, wall space is temporary. <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. I guess walls are temporary. 
No. <laughs> oh, sorry about the cough. Like the, the allergies got me all this week. It's just like, ah, it drains into my lungs. Like, ugh. Ah, oh, that sucks. No, man. Yeah, the pollen count is high this time of year. <laughs> God, I try to avoid going outside. <clears throat> That's not Don't very we all... of you. <laughs> I, I'm Stare on the human it. side when it comes to that. <laughs> I get that from my mother. <laughs> they would, mother would be ashamed of me because because I am half wood elf, and I'm just like, no, nah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a chill in the, I'm a chill in the tavern, play my songs. You're just like your father. Because I don't want to <laughs> hang out in the sun all day. Get a sunburn. <laughs> Oh, I, my God. Of like Mother, moth man. I fell in poison ivy. <laughs> Changing my name <laughs> to Hans half <laughs> to Hans just human if you continue with that bullshit, mom. Oh, I might be half elven, but I'm half human too, mom. Honestly, yeah. that's gonna be Except the best all part of about me. playing a half elf. <laughs> just the I have, half the, the half right. everything because you got you got to reconcile the, yeah. the elven uh, parent disappointment and like the, the human <laughs> parent just like oh god some, like, I, some real I have a character that's character. like opposed to that I have a yeah. I have a half elf ranger named oh. Senelin Leafstrider yeah. and he never he oh, never nice. knew his father right and he was raised in the wood elf Classic. community and yeah. um and as he grew older of course all the human he has very human features. And he 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 he's he's delusional in the sense like no I'm I, you know I'm a wood elf <laughs> I, I'm, a, I'm a fucking wood elf uh, I, yeah. I love it and and uh, yeah yeah at one point I was role playing him I actually made him an EverQuest and I was role playing him with my Ooh, buddy who played a high elf and I was and I was like like man I'm sick of you know I'm, I'm tired of all these humans running through our forests and cutting these trees down and planning Sorry. none in return. And my high, my, my, my buddy, uh, my buddy Dylan, he's, he, he, he started roping his high up character and he, and he's like, yeah, I hate those humans, especially yeah. when there's one standing right in front of you, you know, like right now. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah, that would suck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would suck. But yeah, he, um, he, he did find out eventually from, um, from his mom's ex lover that, his dad was a human, and then that guy tried to kill him because, you know, he, yeah, right? <laughs> Never would have guessed. Look at the fucking mirror. That guy tried to kill him, and he ended up killing him. And then his mom's like, I'm sorry, I never told you. And he's like, no, 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 no. I'm a wood elf. That's all I know. And he doesn't speak common. <laughs> does he? And it's funny because when he's standing among other wood elves, he's like six foot tall, very, like, square jaw. He has to shave off his facial hair. He's, he's obviously, <laughs> oh, wow. obviously half human. Yes. Yeah, but he's, you know, he, he's all about that wood elf life. It, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of self-induced delusion because he, he refused to accept. Yeah. If you, 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 if you, you refuse to accept anything else otherwise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's him, officer. That's the guy, the, the, the elf <laughs> with the five o'clock shadow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the elf that's about a foot and a half taller than all the other wood elves. <laughs> and he just responds in he just he responds in wood elf. Big two, three, two fifty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's like, right. He's right. Aside straight. from a few facial <laughs> features and his pointed ears, he looks like a fucking human. <laughs> you know what, Sam uh, brings up a very, very good point. Uh, what kind of uh, what do you think a, a you know a purebred wood elf would drive? A Subaru oh, or F one? Really? <laughs> they would drive mm. a hybrid. Uh, they drive a hybrid. They drive, oh, drive I would a think so too. Yeah, you know. Yeah, elves oh, are yeah. very much a Prius people. Right. The half elves would drive a hybrid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> right, <laughs> drows don't care don't about not. the environment. <laughs> they, the, every drow just, right. just like as soon as you're born, you're issued a Hummer. Right, <laughs> fuck off, surface dwellers. Bring <laughs> I'm going to park in three parking spots. <laughs> that is such a drow thing to do. <laughs> and like uh, someone rolls up, like, "Yo, who parked in all these parking spots? I'm gonna beat the shit out of him." Drow walks up. <laughs> <laughs> 
that beautiful drow lady. The fuck you gonna do to me? <laughs> I'm sorry. What did you say? To me? Male. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Did that male just speak to me? <laughs> what do you think? I'm not really even like a car guy. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> These surface dwelling males have got some nerve telling me that I can't park right in a handicap space. Door. Right, right. <laughs> if anyone's handicapped, it's you surface dwellers. Fuck off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Round ear looking fuck. Right. Uh, I'm all I'm all about I'm all about the drow snobby snobbyism and superiority complex because I oh, yeah. I, I grew up reading Ari to Oh my god. I've gotten a lot less of that bullshit since I became Rao. Yeah, right. Ooh. Yeah, I kind of miss it. You're you, you're very dumb. You're very dumb. <laughs> like uh, I'm pretty I sure. Miss, like uh, I missed the way you talk to a half breed surface dweller like me. It was kind of hey hard. yo. <laughs> yo, it, Drow's uh, bro- basically they they were the pioneers that brought the dummy mommy to the TTRPG hub. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I was I mean, just going the through. Patron is right. Loth is like the yeah. queen of the goth chick. <laughs> well, I was yeah. just going through Loth puberty when I learned about Matron Malice, and I already wanted her to spank me. Oh my like, lord! Loth is the BDSM queen because, like, uh, you know, right? that web gotta be count. Gotta count <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I just picture like Arachne from Monster Masune. Like, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> down but all before I go too off the rails, mommy. Sam, what's the monster of the week? Oh, Jesus, we had rails. <laughs> the darkest secrets of the creature of the week. Sam's monster lore. <laughs> that fucks. Yeah, it does. That fucks. I like it. I like it. So it does go for a long time. We need to cut it. <laughs> uh, we do. Like I, I do. <laughs> but at the same time, it's such a good solo. Like uh, how how do it's I find it? It's gotta fade into to, the like, background. You know, a fade if a fade would work. I just I can't bring yeah. myself to actually cut it. I feel it. So uh, I need this to. Was a, a monster I was kind of thinking about last week, and I don't think I kind of hit this topic. Yet, so I thought it might be a good place to go. Nothing too crazy this time. I was like, I was thinking about, I was looking through a list, and I was like, man, we need something that we could like. We like to talk about if we could take the things in a fight, right? You know, realistic. <laughs> yeah. we're, 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 we're realistic guys. We yeah, could, yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> uh, I think one of my at the end of the day was like, oh, no, when you stack up against certain creatures, right? Yeah, like, you know, like, a, <laughs> oh, oh, like you as you are now, like, okay, uh, could you take this thing in a fight? And like, yeah. sometimes you just gotta go out to your car, I kind of car battery, get some jumper cables, and just hook them up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. I could take it. Look. In a fight, you know? maybe not, but yeah, yeah. It kind of <laughs> I like the goal or the lore kind of yeah. give you the general idea of like Rod, I can sandwich it. You know, yeah. so this time nothing too crazy. Let's talk about the Kappa, right? Kappa. <laughs> I like Kappas. They're cool little frog turtle guys. Yeah, a little, oh, little bowl of water, water on their head. Like Before I go into this topic, bowl. you ever seen a turtle skull? Uh, no, Bernard. but now I need to look it up. <laughs> okay, okay. So I was Bernard, thinking Adam, yeah. and like um, I was we were looking at I like skulls. <laughs> I'm a skull guy, not like bones and stuff. So I was looking at turtle skulls. And I didn't realize how much they look like dragons. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, dragon turtle, Sam. Yeah, yeah. It, it tricked me out. And I was like, these are cool. And they were cheap, too. I almost bought a couple. <laughs> I, nice. I don't know. It's the convention stuff. Like, how cheap is convention stuff? I mean, you know, those are like 20, 30 bucks, I guess. But they were like palm size, so they weren't too bad. Do you know oh, what okay. type of turtle it was? Um, soft shell turtle, I think. There were a couple different kinds. Oh, okay, they all kind of had like Those the long kind of like. It, I wanted to see like a snapping turtle. Well, I bet that one looks cool. Oh, wow. Mm. I used to own a Sulcata tortoise. Ooh, Those are the that? third largest tortoise in the world. Like, they grew up to be big. Yeah. 
ooh, that'd be the ultimate like oh, bard uh, druid cosplay. You just kind of ride into town, sitting on your turret, right. playing right. your loot. Right, go slow. That way, people can take their time yeah. and, 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 and listen yeah. to you. Um, yeah. He's a traveling performer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now anyway. I miss my tortoise. And I, and I guess it is kind of on top because they're kind of turtly, right? <laughs> it's turtly enough for the turtle club. Yeah. They would turtle, not. Turtle. You know, they may get accepted by the TMNT, right? Like mm. they could be like a little brother. Yeah, yeah, you know, like if the, if they had a brother that could just uh, be defeated by bowing. <laughs> so for anyone who doesn't know, <laughs> Kappas were small with a stooped stance. Their main distinguishing features was a hard shell that covered their back. They had kind of like scaly, kind of like turtle, almost like alligator-ish, you know, kind of skin. There, you know, they had um, long and fat pudgy heads they had this like <laughs> the kind of indent on their head that was kind of like a bowl that could hold like water um they had a wide mouth filled with several rows of sharp hooked teeth a thin row of hair mm-hmm. encircled their head and they had round eyes that were usually red or yellow in color uh, they were able to see underwater due to a transparent eyelid that covered their eyes when submerged kind of like you know mm-hmm. snakes or like turtles yeah. I imagine. right like the classic and they turtle. Kind of have like a, a large beak like nose. So, being aquatic, they had webbed hands and feet. Their hands ended in sharp claws, while their feet resembled those of a large turtle. Instead of skin, they were very clammy. They were dark green with yellow spots. And <laughs> apparently, they smelled like fish. Uh, they had large bellies with a pouch. Kappas had evolved to They're have marsupials? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Okay, they're yeah. weird for marsupials. Uh, it, it, that's what catches me right there. They're like a, they're like the kangaroos of yokai. They're just. <laughs> I keep all my little uh, kappa babies. I, I in imagine this pouch right of, here. I think it's like the, like you know, turtles have like the soft shell. I think they right, have like right. that, but it's like a pouch. Ooh, okay, huh? Uh. Um, I mean, <laughs> it's like dragon tails, like where yeah, they got those little much. pouches. And they were. I cold forgot cold. about that. We're able to I, both I, I lived my entire adult life without remembering that. <laughs> Take it <laughs> back. <laughs> <laughs> Take it back. <laughs> yeah, they're more spills. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. About to run a dragon tails campaign where all dragon born are more spills. <laughs> Oh my god, with pouches. <laughs> it's the it's the buff that WotC won't give them. Oh I, my god. I mean they if I'm feel... playing one SFPC, that's where I keep all my shit, you know? Like my potions yeah, and whatnot. To play a Kappa as a as like a PC. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. I could kind of see that. Yeah. That'd allow it. So like I mentioned, um the bowl type feature that was on top of their heads. Um, apparently gave them their strength and vitality. And it was said that if the water was spilled or ever displaced, the kappa would die. Okay. Oh, no. So... Why don't they have lids? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, yeah, right? I, I, get, I hook you up on my Tupperware dealer. <laughs> right? Or you could get some, like, cellophane wrap and just, like... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there's something significant to it, like, him being vulnerable. Right, like mm. I don't know. I don't know how I think about it. Mm. So getting to the very cup out of these guys. Yeah, <laughs> like I, I can turtles. imagine plenty of showguns oh, being like, "Hey, no. I, I got this cap of skull at this convention a oh, while back." Cool. Oh man! So getting into the like ecology here, Kappas were okay. aquatic creatures and therefore lived within bodies of water. They were. Um, Amphibious, I believe it's called, when you can breathe yeah. both air and water. Both air and water, um, yeah. Yeah, but however, they were only able to live in like fresh water. So like mm. rivers, ponds, okay. and like lakes. Stay away from the ocean. Long term exposure to salt water was fatal. They made their lairs under the ground at the bottom of a lake, river, pond, or swamp. The entrance to their lair was covered with a pile of rocks with a concealed entrance that led to a tunnel. At the end of the tunnel was a water filled cavern where they made their home and ordered their treasure. The treasure was valuable items taken from their victims and stored in a hole hidden by large stone. And this is kind of like in the Forgotten Realms for the most part here. Mm-hmm. 
But I do go into their kind of like real life folk a little bit. All right. So female kappa chose a male kappa to mate and could lay up to six eggs per year, although only ha- half eventually hatch. The female kappa kept the eggs within her abdomen pouch and carried their young in it after they hatched for up to a year. Apparently, the kappa matured quickly and were able to communicate, swim, and walk immediately upon hatching. And they could live. They just like uh, they just wake up and start uh, speaking. I'm hungry. (laughs) Feed me. No, I get. I at least have to wait a few years before my kids start yelling at me like that. (laughs) Something I did not know that there is apparently two Kappa sub races. Oh, really? really? Yeah. So there's the Kappa T. I don't know if Kappa T or Kappa Ti. Were a subspecies of Kappa. They resembled their regular Kappa, but were much larger, with an average height of five feet, one point five meters, and did not have a shell. They were also faster and stronger than a regular Kappa. Oh, they yeah, lived alone and did not mingle with the regular cap who considered them abhorrent. So they were kind wow. of like mutated, like a big brother. <laughs> like, outcast big boys. Yeah. Like a, like a, they would think see it as like a like a deformed baby, I imagine. So are they are they like Aww. ninjas? That that just, you know, asking for a friend. So so I wonder if <laughs> it's kind of like some of the eggs, you know, like only half of them are maybe a regular cat. Maybe one is Mm. And they're like, this one's like, you know, <laughs> not right. Oh no, my third son is so ugly. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't he have grows, a shell. It's like <laughs> very. Mm. You know, kind of cool. Then another one was the vampiric kappa. Vampiric. So oh, I wonder what's up with it. Rare <laughs> substances. They shared the personality of a regular kappa, but were slightly faster and heavier. Vampiric Kappa's eyes glowed a deep red. Like regular Kappa, they had scales, but theirs were far tougher. Vampiric mm-hmm. Kappa were also much more intelligent and cunning. And in combat, they used an attack that was to, that distinguished them from other Kappa. A would bite a target, draining their strength. If the target somehow survived, yeah. there was a significant chance that it would contract the deadly disease, killing them unless healed. Vampiric Kappa were solitary and preyed on any living being. Including oh. regular. Wow! So you got the you got the jock sub race, and then you yeah. got the nerds <laughs> the sub race nerds. kappa. I love it. The vampire <laughs> kids, <laughs> the goth kids. It, it makes me so sad that they use their gothicness for evil. Right? <laughs> I wonder if I'm they have like, your strength. like a burgundy kind of like skin color. That would be interesting. Or like Ooh, maybe like a dark, okay. like a black, like a like a swampier I variant. Want, maybe? I want a, oh. I want an underworld move, uh, underworld like movie where it's like oh. the goth, the goth, the goth capus versus the jock capus, <laughs> just fucking going at it like werewolves and vampires. I would fucking watch that. Who would imagine? That'd be, crazy. <laughs> That'd be epic. We're getting into the the folklore a little bit here. Mm-hmm. I don't know how much guys know about the uh, yokai kind of belief systems and stuff like Mm. that but a kappa is a reptiloid kami with similarities to yokai found in traditional japanese folklore kappa can become harmful when they're not respected as gods they're typically depicted as green human-like beings with webbed hands and feet and turtle-like carapaces on their backs a depression on its head called its dish or its sara retains water and if this is damaged or its liquid is lost the kappa is severely weakened. Uh, oh. Kappa are known to favor cucumbers and love to engage in sumo wrestling. They are often <laughs> accused of assaulting humans in water and removing a mythical organ called the Shiro Kodama from their victim's anus. Huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, Look. that sounds pretty huh? well. I, I knew what the reaction was going to be. Okay, I prepared for this. <laughs> so I did. Okay, so research. tell us about the mythical butt organ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, and how do I go about protecting it? <laughs> yeah, you know. Look, I look. I had the same reaction. I was like, "They did what? Like wear like a reverse <laughs> pod piece? Why? Like what? Where? What is this mythical <laughs> organ? Right? Like, so during the Edo period, they were monsters who had a particularly vicious method of killing their victims. And probably one of the strangest bits of Japanese folklore, it is said that human beings have something in their body called the Shirokodama. 
which translates to literally as a small anus ball. <laughs> small <laughs> anus ball? <laughs> so are stealing my butt balls? Out. Yeah, yeah, apparently we have an organ. <laughs> so the ball is nestled e- either immediately oh inside or deeper inside the intestines or the stomach. The ball so, is stored in the butt. <laughs> 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 usually it's the so, other way around usually you put yeah. beads into the butt usually it's something stored even, in the balls <laughs> yeah. I even found a quote from a folklore slash manga artist named Mizuke Shigeru <laughs> I think this is a little interesting she said ever since I was a child I heard that I had to be careful in the water because a kappa would try and take my shiro kadama it was said that in the water a kappa would come from below extend an arm upwards and stick a hand up your butt to extract the ball <laughs> I would be <laughs> so paranoid. This is Dude, how you get out of the water. No, you're good. <laughs> if some chick's like, hey, you want a pegging? I'm like, yeah, sure. Well, wait, wait, no. No, you're just trying to take wait. my Shiro Kadama, weren't you? Ha ha. Ha ha. No, no. Not today, Satan. <laughs> what, a, what a weird thing to like warn your kids about. Like, don't go in the river. They'll steal your butt. Like, what? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh man what? that's when one-handed i wanted, I wanted to one know hand covering like, my butthole actually like if this really exists right like so but no one i can really imagine agrees. this traumatizing so many little japanese kids yeah. that they just like dude I, I ain't going to the water they're going to steal my butt ball oh, i don't like, want that God. that damn lake bro like, i would be that i, I would be that brat incredible. that little asshole brat that would like swim with my brothers and sisters and then just fucking <laughs> while they're swimming innocently they have like, <laughs> it scared the shit out of them thinking thinking oh, you know cap is trying to steal their, their butt ball so, have so, you ever their scared organic somebody anal beef. while being underwater hans like, have you ever uh, uh, dive I can under even the water swim. and grab somebody? That's I don't a, know if I scared them, but I think it was one of my cousins. I, I did, they, they, you know, they, they were they were chests above water, but I dove by their feet and, and, and I tickled their feet. And I think that caught them off guard a bit, but yeah. <laughs> and it was in the ocean. This wasn't in a pool. Uh, so. Oh man! Oh, that, that's, 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 that's why that's I evil. said I, I would be that <laughs> asshole. I would be that brat. That would you know? I mean, surely everyone's done the like shark thing, right? Like, uh, yeah. But I, I think a lot of people like to mess with other people while they, while you're in the water. Yeah, you, like, I can, I can also like, imagine that there'd be like this, that one guy a little bit that's just like, you know things. what? Kappa ain't gonna get me. I got a plug. <laughs> <laughs> nice, not today, Kappa. Yeah. Kappa never that's, why I, that's why I keep a plug in there. That's the reason. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah. Look, the no Kappa other is to steal my jewels. Yeah. Never go swimming. No other it. reason. <laughs> this is my swimming plug. I would make <laughs> I money out of that. I would have a butt plug stand in feudal Japan <laughs> and be by the be beach, beach and be like, hey, hey, hey don't go oh. swimming. Don't go swimming without your butt plug. Hey, hey, make sure you got one. Uh, oh yeah, make God. sure you got one. <laughs> uh, I would so, tell everybody that Kappas were in salt water just to expand the business. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. They're down there, too. That lives in salt water now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. They're, they're cousins. I'm getting for their gun. I got different sizes, yeah. different colors. Yeah. <laughs> you know. So, oh, my God. <laughs> according to, like, the the doctors right no one really agrees on what this shirogodama is some say that it's the human soul hardened into physical form in the butt some, yeah i mean I you guess. know some where say else that would you it, store your soul you don't want it in some place that somebody's going to so, want to look so True. interesting enough i found like you know like those like japanese like paintings oh uh, yeah the, i like, found the a bunch of those so. that kind of depict like scenes with kappas or like a kappa like holding one and so what it kind of looks like is the, the Buddhist hojo or like a wish granting jewel. I don't know if you know what those look like, but it was like a, like an onion shaped kind of like teardrops, kind of like seed, I guess. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. So like, and for some reason it's like associated with the liver. So for, you know, cause the, the shape of the bead or whatever kind of looks like yeah. a liver. Oh, okay. So, so, gonna, gonna so some liver. people think that you know maybe it's oh they feast they like have like a delicacy for like livers or something. 
Right. Or, or you know, just do that. I, I, I already, I already want to use this as my campaign. You know, taking <laughs> a long rest. I'm like, okay, buddy, make a, per, make a perception <laughs> check. Okay, 16. Okay, you feel a Chloe Turner like hand going up your asshole. <laughs> going up your asshole. So apparently in, in one story or like a common like belief in some like cultures, right? It was believed mm. that the Kappa paid the Shirokodama as like a tribute to mm. this like apparent dragon king who uh, lived I'm here in the, dragon the, cult right here. Yeah, who who like lives under the rivers and lakes and who's apparently okay. like this lord of all things under the water. Which I'm like, that could be interesting. Maybe there's like a Kappa king, hmm. right? Ooh, and he's like, dragon. give me all these things from the surrounding like villages. Yeah. Or you something. Know, your dragons like to collect uh, treasures yeah. and jewels. And this so. would be like a unique, like only the Kappa knows about this. Yeah, only right. a Kappa only. Has, the, has the ability to reach inside someone's <laughs> ass and pull out the jewels. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh, yeah, I thought that was it. <laughs> God, damn, you're killing me tonight, Sam. <laughs> I'm never gonna think about Kappa Mikey the same way again. Dude, I, I don't never, think I, 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 I don't think I can on. swim in fresh water ever the, the same way ever again. <laughs> so I not without your plug. Found yep, not without my plug. I found abilities. You know, as uh... I. Kind of go over the stats here, so we could see if one of them tried to pull up on us. <laughs> we could take it, all right. <laughs> Maybe this will ease your your burdens a little bit. You know? Maybe this will ease your butt. Yeah, yeah. you can yeah. even unclench and relax. Take out the plug, you know. <laughs> Enjoy a nice swim in the lake or swamp. I guess. Right. Well, uh, I a bard. Sometimes the pegging's welcome. I mean, I mean, um, I mean, uh, what's a better word for it? Anal digging. Anal digging. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> um, so long as there's no eggs involved. Uh, yeah. yeah. So some male, some adult male Kappa had the ability to innately cast spells. This ability was limited as they could only cast spells within one mile of their home, which is like their like nest, right? They were to cast most new huh. gen spells, which I didn't know what this meant. So I had to look it up, right? And apparently Wu gen spells are kind of like the Chinese kind of like Taoistic magic, you know, kind of mm -hmm. like more spiritual kind of a side to it. Yeah, that sounds anything. like something that would have been real big in the uh, uh, Oriental Adventures, right? Back in like yeah. Yes, yeah, Hell absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I have all the. So Oriental I was like, adventures. okay, that was interesting. So, and apparently they have a natural immunity to all water-based spells, as well as a natural right. ability to regenerate damage. So you can't so kill them with uh, destroy water, is yeah, what I'm they're, they're immune to water, which is, I guess is fair, you know? Yeah, so you can't destroy their water. Yeah. Getting okay. into their stats here, they're nothing too crazy. They're a little strong. I'm going to put salt on it. <laughs> <laughs> and these are the stats for, like, the basic cap. Like, so we have, like, the slug weaknesses. Of, yeah. Strength of 18, dexterity of 14, constitution of 12. Intelligence of seven, wisdom of fourteen, and charisma of eight. So uh, okay. you know, well, I know that Hans good. could out charisma them at least. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. could seduce. Yeah, them. yeah. You want to <laughs> seduce it? Ain't no. <laughs> Get his hand up for a different reason. <laughs> how, how would I do that? I, I, I would use my persuasion check with advantage and be like, "Hey, I'm all out of soul anal beads, but my friend morale <laughs> over there." You cannot have my bead. <laughs> it, it'd just be uh, there on the side, just like, okay, well, what are you waiting for? Uh, bend over and pick it up. And then when they're bending over, he just kind of like dunks their head a little bit, tips out the water. Right, right. <laughs> now, I wouldn't misdirect them to morale. I'd either, yeah, I'd either misdirect them to an enemy or sleep with them. This is something I didn't know. I to... I'd just never go in the water again. I'd only take showers. <laughs> I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even sit in a bathtub. Oh, there you go. You know what? Nope. That'd be no, it for no, me. No water ever. You know what? Nothing. <laughs> I, I only water. bathe in whiskey. You are a cat. I only bathe in whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Super sterile. I am a cat. Are you? Are you suggesting tongue baths? <laughs> <laughs> Girl, what uh, that I can picture of our like, ah, I'll never go in the water. Never again. <laughs> so last and not least, I can get into their kind of like natural feats here. 
They got amphibious, obviously. They can breathe air and water. They got mm-hmm. expert wrestler. The Kappa can grapple creatures that are two sizes larger than itself. Oh. And can oh. move at full speed when dragging a creature it has grappled. Damn. Okay, so grappling mm. no go. That's like a going against a sumo wrestler, right? They yeah, got the, they got yeah. The yeah. Especially got against the, the jock sub race, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna keep my race. I can imagine cool. that you play a PC who's like a, one of those big ones. That'd be interesting. It, it seems like you could I mean, play like a pair of earlier. Uh, like, they <laughs> have like a Olympic level wrestling strength. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, you could play like a grappler. Hmm. Anyway, we got the head bowl. The kappa has a bowl like indentation on its head, which holds water from the rivers or lakes where it lives. If the kappa <coughs> bowl is empty, it has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks until the bowl is refilled with water. Normal movement in combat does not cause water to spill from the bowl, but an opponent can empty the bowl by knocking the kappa prone or by making two successful grapple checks. One to grab the He's kappa. He's going to be afraid of my straw. <laughs> <laughs> and something, something interesting with them being kind of cunning and like a little bit smart. So you could probably make a deal with one, right? What if you like ransom its water <laughs> and you like make it get stuff? <laughs> <laughs> what if I pulled it, out like, a bottle it tries, and I played like, got your water? You- you like right you like steal its water and you're like you want this <laughs> like <laughs> it's gonna cost you buddy pour out your fucking bowl boy <laughs> right oh if only there was water around it's like <laughs> it's like holding a gun to someone all right stop and then you slowly pour some of it out well, unfortunately they are slippery right they have advantage on ability checks and saving throws made to escape a grab. <laughs> They are also sure-footed. Kappa has advantage on strength and dexterity saving throws made against effects that would knock it. So good luck. <laughs> so the grapple kings, it, it, right yeah, there. They're, like, they're, they, if you let them grab you, you're kind of cooked, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's over. You just have to be more than two sizes bigger than them. Yeah. Or yeah. you know, Easy. if you try to get in and get close, just like kick it in the head. I guess I don't know. Right. Or fly. Everybody yeah, has wings. Yeah. I just stay at range and shoot arrows at the bowl. Kind of. I do believe them. normal kappas are only like what, three and a half, four feet tall, right? They're kind of like okay, goblin okay. size. So you know what? I'm proficient in child throwing. So I, I think... <laughs> yeah, they're like they're like a, they're a wow. decent sized child, right? <laughs> How many kids do you think you could beat up, and if they were in rounds, <laughs> there was well, a boss. <laughs> <laughs> How many intelligent children do you think you could successfully incapacitate? Right. Mm. You know what? I, I have being a father of four. I, I I think I got this one. Would you rather fight a man-sized kappa or man-sized or fifty toddler-sized kappa? Jeez. Uh, I, I'd I'd go fifty one on one. Right. Are you kidding me? Even one on one. So, I'd rather have yeah. one thing stick its hand yeah. up my butt yeah. than 50. Honestly, right? outside yeah, of the world. Right? That's, that's a very different in the world, scenario. You probably could. <laughs> Can you imagine five of them trying to open your anus at once? Stop. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> think but about it. On land, imagine you like catch one in your yard, right? Like, you're like what are you doing? <laughs> this is a pool. Go away. <laughs> Yeah, it's like trapped in your pool. It's like, what the? Where am I? <laughs> Walk like, out with like, like a, a duck a stuck hole. in your pool, but worse. <laughs> but so much worse. Joke's on you, buddy. Whips out you holding fish, a chlorine. You its head <laughs> with pool water. I just and imagine the baby's coming out of the egg. Your pool. I just imagine the baby's coming out, out of the egg. Animal. And their first words are <laughs> anal ball. Ado ball. Ah! He's running around aimlessly. Ado ball. Both parties have never been the same. <laughs> we don't invite words. him to parties anymore. His first word. Buttholes. Buttholes. <laughs> Ball. Mother. <laughs> this, is already in my, this is already in my mind making for like an incredible game session. Oh, dear. <laughs> but well, I don't know. You can take Orion. You can take one. Uh, you know what? I... I Think I can? I, I if on the uh, IRL fight score, I, I'd yeah. say I'd give that a seven because I think that Fair. if I if the if they're the smaller ones, throwable, and if it's throwable, it's spillable. 
Uh, other than Great. that, there you uh, go. my main you strategy is uh, <laughs> busting those kneecaps. <laughs> Try well, grappling. You can't grapple you with no you knees. Can't, you can't grapple if you don't have knees. Like, uh, the, the, big, elbows, right? the big thing that I, I've learned, like I've been watching this anime, uh, there's originally a webtoon called Viral Hit. And like uh, one one of the early episodes, just like how to beat a grappler. And like the long story short is you don't unless you're really good at being able to get in a couple solid hits from range so that they before they can get you. Right. Yeah. You got to be able to like maintain the range. Right. Yeah. Like, you got to make sure that you got that range so that they don't get you. You know, yeah. like you got like, you to be as slippery or even more like right. Like cover yourself in oil. If they yeah, cover yourself in oil. Yeah, there goes your Greco-Roman wrestling you know, now, is, bitch. This is why I've been buttering myself up every day for the last two years. I've been preparing for the Kappa fight, man. Right? <laughs> why are you Skin doing all this, oiled Kappa? up and butt all <laughs> plugged. Bring it. <laughs> I got my plug, and I got two big bottles of olive oil. It just starts right? to dump, stop dumping them all over yourself like you're Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> right? Am I going to a Kappa <laughs> fight or going to Morale's house party? Either way, oh, yeah. I'm prepared. There's going to be Kappa. Uh, <laughs> oh, there's going to be Kappa. Okay. <laughs> Look, I can imagine they like the party. <laughs> I, I can sorry. imagine they're party dudes. Really if they, if they like treasure, with, like, I'm sure you could like. <laughs> just triple second there. God. <laughs> just pour a little bit in. <laughs> you know how vampires have those party where they have like the sacrificial mortal that they can drink blood from? So in the Kappa party, it's like that. But you got the sacrificial guy with the anal soul still in him in there. <laughs> and then the party, you just fucking run around and chase them in the house. I heard there was going to be cake. Oh. Yeah, yeah. They're going to steal my key? Up the butt? Right. That's <laughs> incredible. And I'm going to think mean, about that every time a friend that, of mine plays the if, monk. If I could yeah. keep yeah. my keys, keys up there, scared? they would never be lost. Dude, and I was thinking about this when I was looking up like the. They seem cut like those of the other monks. Mm. Mm. Give the Wu Jin abilities to the monks. Ooh, that's a homebrew in the making. Yeah. Mm. Way of the anal pie. soul stealing. <laughs> <laughs> it is a it is a three five kind of like spell module you know way of the or fisting whatever. master yeah. <laughs> nice all right very awesome that was incredible i, I dig it that was amazing i want to play one i want to play one thank you, thank you. and i'm, yeah, I'm kind of interested in the kappa now like yeah, yeah i want to play one with group syndrome you, and Ah, shit. Uh, you know what? Uh, as, has, as Hans F. Elvin, I would have to keep range, keep singing to it, calm down, and wait till my friends come in and jumped it. But I am I mean, not going near anything. Pretty... Yeah. 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 Either that or I try to fuck it. I'll seal your eight yeah, or something. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I got a better treasure. How about right. I reach in your butt? Ever have, oh, flip right. the script. Ever have a human and an elf in you at the same time, Mr. Hey, yo. Multitasking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, 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 yeah, I, I play one. I play nice. one. Mine would have Groot oh, syndrome problem, though, where the only things he can say is anal <laughs> butthole, anal <laughs> butthole. Girl. <laughs> His oh, name hey. is Butthole. <laughs> he named himself. <laughs> right? Yeah. What's your name? He anal after butthole. His first words. <laughs> ah, there we Kappa go. Kappa homebrew race on Reddit. Oh, no. 
All right. <laughs> Somebody took their butt ball. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, not quite yet. Oh, almost. I'm going to jump right into the nerd news. We only got a couple things this week, so. And, and one is kind of like it. We're leaning a little bit more magic at the gathering this week on some of the news, but I think you'll find it interesting. Cool. This is Tiana bringing you nerd oh, news. Me. All right. This week in nerd news. So, uh, WotC has released another secret lair with uh, some with some Baldur's Gate 3 Easter eggs. That, If any of you have uh, played some Baldur's Gate 3, get that digital oh, yeah. D&D experience. Uh, they have taken two of the uh, Origins characters and given them their own card. So, that's Ooh. pretty neat. Yeah, it's... Astarian and Karlak. Karlak. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Two of the most As a popular. legendary creature. So Scary it's just like Karlak. you can have a Karlak commander deck. Well, All you got to do is just to go mono red. Oh, this is the red girl. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, uh, the, tiefling, the tiefling barbarian. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. And what's the other one? Uh, Astarian, the uh, vampire dude. Oh yeah, yeah, the one everyone wanted to fuck. Right. Yeah, like like my wife, my, she can't get enough. Yeah, Astarian. my wife is head over heels. <laughs> or Astarian <laughs> and Neil Nippon. I'm all about shadow. Let's just face it. Everybody's wife is leaving them for Astarian. Right. He's just not the bear, right? <laughs> oh, Halson? Are you kidding me? Halson's awesome. Uh-huh. Halson? You mean Hunkson? Uh, I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. He can grab Halson's my beat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Went for the ball landing, man. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it was going to be Carlike and Asteria in the moment you were saying it. Th- those two are probably the most popular. Uh, they, they are kind of top tier in uh, terms of that. I mean, like, uh, my dad started playing it, and, like, all I've gotten out of that is he likes Astarian. And he can't stand uh, dealing with Shadowheart and Gale. <laughs> what? What? Shadowheart's a sweetheart. Uh. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's sure. Like a, Shadowheart's a slow burn. You got to get invested in that one. Uh, oh, I'm very, that being said, I'm very invested. I, I, Shadowheart was my first romance uh, character in the game, so I, I can't say anything. I like Shadowheart. Nice. Shadowheart is my only romance character in the game, Gosh. except for my current honor Look mode out. run, because that character doesn't like girls. I feel like that was it for too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Karlak is just amazing. I had a, like, the ending for my playthrough is very unique, where it's just like, I had romanced Shadowheart, but at the end of it, I'm just like, Will Karlak... We're going to hell. We'll see you later, uh, Shadowheart. I'll be back late in a few months. I'm going to go adventuring with my friends. You're like, right, I'm going to hell. That's the reason why I didn't go to uh, go to Avernus with Will and Carla. I'm like, ah, I'm going to start a family with this girl. <laughs> <laughs> like, I want a future. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's just- you, you guys go off. Yeah. It's just one of those things where... It, it was a very, I felt like it was kind of a weird ending. Cause like you, you get your love interest. It is. Like, Yo, know, we got to help the homies. homies right. Homies, all of us. <laughs> exactly. Right. <laughs> I mean, if there was an option to have a little house in Avernus, like me and Shadowheart can start a family, you know, in fucking hell. Sure. I'd help Will and Carlac, but. Yeah. And the first know. circle, maybe the second, you know, none of the crazy planes, you know. Right. It'd right. Be fine. Yeah. Right. You know, it's a little hot. It's fine. Yeah, it's a little hot. <laughs> Only a little bit. It's like a uh, summer in Arizona. I, cool. I think objectively, my drow would not like it that much. But you know, of course, I think in one of the uh, when are my you, when my are wife you a male drow. Yes, I, I played. Then it, a male doesn't drow. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah, <laughs> I think when my wife it, romances Asterion on one of her characters, I think it was one of the drow characters. Yeah, uh, they ended up like. You know, you know, like the six months before the epilogue, that they they ended up like living out in the underdark, because Asterion, mm-hmm. Asterion was not ascended, so he still had to stay out of the sun. But that was pretty cool. 
Yeah, my wife got all upset when she got her ending with Astarian, where he's like all ascended vampire, then he just kind of turns into a complete douche. And oh, care. yeah, yeah. If you ascend Astarian, <laughs> he'll be a complete dick. It's just like, in my playthrough, I barely used Astarian, and he, it's just like, he became a pretty nice guy at, in the prologue. I'm like, okay, you know. Uh, you know, I, I support you trying to be a nice guy. Right, right. All right. Other D and D news. Um, this one is kind of. Uh, I I debated on whether or not I wanted to even bring it up, just because like people get so touchy about uh, election stuff. But apparently, uh, one of the one of the uh, people selected to be a vice president running mate plays Magic the Gathering, and that made some nerd news. <laughs> oh, okay. That is interesting. Yeah, but like, a decky run. <laughs> that was my first question. I'm like, can't okay, be uh, anything financial. I I just look at this and I'm just like, okay, uh, go through the entire article. It doesn't say what deck he runs. They're not giving uh, us the real uh, information. Yeah, I know. Like that that's politics the right there. And I, I can't lies. You can't man. tell me. want to keep the secrets. Well, he's a yeah, politician, like, so he runs a red. He runs a fast red deck. <laughs> And it's all goblins every fucking turn that only costs yeah. like fucking one land to tap, and then he kills you before you can even get your first. I don't know, man. Might be out. a blue. Yeah, yeah. You think you it's blue? He's a. Maybe maybe he runs the good old something? red, white, and blue deck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <Burn. laughs> mm. I don't know. You, I can, got, you can tell I a lot about the blue. In a while, but I want to I want to run a red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. Dude, thing. that sounds. Amazing. What was that guy from Yu-Gi-Oh? Who's like American? <laughs> uh like a who like pulled a gun Keith, on Bandit Pegasus? Keith. Yeah, <laughs> he fucking pulled a gun on Pegasus in the tournament. <laughs> yeah, like a. <laughs> Uh, I guess uh, Trump's running mate JD Vance, like uh, they they kind of they've been making fun of him in some of the interviews, saying that his he's got dorky hobbies like playing Magic the Gathering, this and it's just like wait, both the time. VP both the VPs running play Magic. No, so far uh, it seems like it's just uh, JD Vance, which is uh, Trump's JD running mate. Oh, it, oh, I, oh, oh, I thought Harris's running mate. Because I because if they uh, both played magic, fuck the debates. They should just go at it. Ooh, yeah, that's, yeah, they gotta, that's it. That's, that's what I'm that's saying. Great. Like uh, they gotta have a magic. <laughs> uh, honestly, we're starting to get more and more of these politicians playing magic. And Look, it's like, a new generation, right? You like, know what? That's what I'm all about. Like, uh, do you know they got like a uh, uh, that uh, one senator, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, whose initials are MTG, to play Magic uh, the uh, Gathering uh, in a stream, uh, and it's just God. like, okay, okay, that, that that's a start. Look, with, that's a with start. The, the, I've been seeing a lot of streamers hanging out with politicians lately. Maybe it's possible. Uh, yeah, maybe, let's, let's get we politicians into TTRPG. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. I think that a little bit of getting politicians to play D and D and magic right. might make them better people. Exactly. Right, right. It it's a long like shot. It's a long shot. Right, because right. like, TTRPG it, it, tables is where we forget about all our differences, all our different whatnot, yeah, and we just have fun yeah. and we party and we vibe and play. Maybe if politicians learn how to do that. Maybe you know, maybe yeah. they can. Are you saying maybe they? Like, uh, if we should just uh, have a government mandated weekly D and D and D game night. Yes, yes. So forget your like, this, forget your that. Like a great oh, way to know. make people hate D and D. Sounds like a great way to ruin everything. Yeah. Maybe yeah. not yeah. really. Yeah. Maybe, maybe voluntary. Look, we but, just know. we just need some of them, like the Senate members or whatever, to have like a critical role type. Like. <laughs> uh, that would be entertaining. <laughs> That would be entertaining as fuck. But considering their age, it might as well be a uh, AARPG. Yeah, that's so true. <laughs> it, it's crazy, man. Uh, I really wish the article mentioned what deck he runs, because, like, you know, you could, like I said before, you can tell a lot about a person by what they got in their deck. Yeah, right. True. This is true. This is true. So it's like, I thought I thought it was the uh, I thought it was the other guy. I, I, I'm, I'm still, the, going, you know I'm still going with fast red deck with a bunch of goblins. Magic has kind of lost me. Yeah, honestly, I, I would love to see politicians just like it'd be like Yu-Gi-Oh. Forget debates. <laughs> we settle this Look, with a duel. Yeah. 
Exactly. That's what I've been wanting right. this whole time. Oh my God. That's right. Fuck the argument. Bust out the Beyblade arena. All right. We're getting serious here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Beyblades need you need a license to carry one of those things. You can destroy a tank with a Beyblade. I saw the show. <laughs> wow. With the with the Red Sea, right? Moses did it. Yeah, he split the sea. <laughs> okay. The, the the last Jesus. piece of uh, little D D news that I got here uh also comes from Wargamer, and it, it's just a little bit of a kind of an update to what some of the crafting rules, a little bit of preview for that for the 2024 D D is uh, shaping up to look like. Oh, can you make magic items now? Uh, yes. Thank fuck. I I think so. I was kind of skimming through it, so I'm not 100% because I'm lazy with that. But at the bare bare minimum, (laughs) it's better with, like, right now it's looking a little bit better with some of the stuff. Like, they're really leaning into the Xanathar's uh, crafting, which... uh, I like Xanathar's crafting kind of a improving on it a little bit nice which is you know it, it's a start you know because th- there wasn't really that much I, I don't think there was any crafting anything in the PHB when it first came out no I don't think so I, I think yeah. it's a step in the right direction I mean hell yeah. bre- brewer supplies I mean, being used to craft antitoxin yeah look I mean I feel like using like the crafting idea as a whole is just a way to open people's like creativity right? yeah like, yeah i mean there's like there's millions of people that play mmos just to craft yeah. so Look, i'm pretty yeah. sure when we get into our home i'm gonna talk about something that's very near and dear to my <laughs> and, nice. I, and i mentioned like monster hunter earlier you know i love the whole uh, idea yes. of like crafting from the things you fight like you know using them to like better and enhance <coughs> yourself mm-hmm. It actually also includes uh, examples for each of the uh, tools that you can use for examples on what you can craft, which I think will help a lot of players out with uh, the more stickler DMs that are just like, oh, I play by the book. Yeah, oh, God. Like rule lawyers and stuff like that, yeah. Yeah, it's like players really do need a little bit more to work with for those kind of DMs, and I'm glad that they're finally giving them a little bit of that. Yeah, absolutely. There are DMs like that. Well, that doesn't exist. I'm not even going to bother with it. So they'll be like, hey, hey, right here. <laughs> exactly. It's official. Like, it's a right here. Officially says, a Tinker's Tools, you can make a musket, a pistol, a bell, a bullseye lantern, Wee. a flask, hooded lantern, hunting trap, locks, manacles, mirror, nice. shovel, a whistle, a tinderbox. Or like Smith's okay, tools. Then, uh, then making, always that's expense, exactly what you'd expect uh, you'd be able to make. That with magic effects to things is always fun. Hell, like, uh, let's see. Woodcarver's yeah, magic tools. Magic. You can make a, a staff, a club, uh, m- ranged weapons, uh, nice. except for like pistols and stuff. But like, uh, l- lot, lots of stuff that you can just make nice. with these things. Like a lot of DMs would have hand waved, but you know, it, it's good to have it in writing yeah mm-hmm. yeah for sure not only can you use those items you can also sell them you can trade with yeah. them yeah yeah, yeah. I, I think the big thing is like by putting that in the new php it's going to make it so that players know that it's an option because right. a lot of players right. just like oh well i got this tool proficiency let me just never use it <laughs> right yeah Literally. especially if you come from an mmorpg background where you know pretty much all the the big name MMO had some sort of crafting in them. You know, they're going to like that. Yeah. It's it's kind of like, as long as it's laid out for people to get an idea of what they can make. Yeah. Right. Give them a box. They'll think outside. You know, exactly. Give them the, give them, teach you how to fish. Right. Very much so. All right, Sam, you wanted to get into our yeah, sure. homebrew. So yeah, yeah. without further ado. Yeah. Realm, Realm, lots of fun. Excellent. <laughs> uh, I, I'm down for the generic realm. Always ready to head to the generic realms. Uh, you're looking at the thing that we talked about earlier, right, Sam? I am, yeah. You sent this to me, and it is interesting. I was reading through it a little bit. 
And I like the options here. I like the, the kind of direction that it's going here. Go. So uh, yeah. people can see that. Yeah, I'll kind of just like go over the little sections here and then kind of pick a few to kind of talk about. All right. There we go. And then I'll just right. adjust that. All right. And uh, tell Ooh. us about it, Sam. So getting into the, I believe this is called the Using the Whole Monster by Goblin Boy123 on the Reddit. So shout out to them. So it goes over talking about monster crafting and carving and things like that and butchering and the uses that you can get out of creatures outside of just the one or two, you know, magic yeah. items. Yeah, great. A, a real waste, not want, not kind of uh, yeah. situation. Well, I'm zoomed in a billion. <laughs> yeah, like I, I can go over some of the stuff as you go through it. Yeah, so we have hello, young adventures. My name is Warfy Wormwood. I am what you might call a monster hunter. Where I am in, where I'm in from, we oh, who hunt monsters are called Grim. The slayers may go by a different name wherever you hail from. Hunting evil monsters is no small task, and after you've defeated one, you deserve a reward. Well, good news, pretty much all monsters have valuable arcane organs that can be harvested and crafted into powerful magical items. Below is my third guide on monster crafting. Right. So That's, that's pretty awesome right there, just because, like... It's like really delicious great. in Dungeon, but you're not making food. You're yeah. making... Oh, yeah. Dungeon Meshy is dungeon. so good. Right? <laughs> exactly, right. So next we have the Butchering DC. The Butchering DC, listed under the items in the harvesting section, is the DC that allows for an organ to be harvested successfully. You can only fail five checks per monster. The check can be for any skill the DM deems appropriate in the situation. For All example, right. sleight of hand may be used to skin a corpse delicately, while medicine may be used to know how to remove bones and organs without damaging them. You receive all ingredients when you meet the DC for them, unless the ingredient has already been harvested from the specific corpse. Mm. Should the party fail all five of their skill checks, any unharvested organs are considered ruined. Rolling a natural one counts as two failed attempts, obviously. Ooh, okay. All right. I like those mechanics. Uh, I, I like those that, mechanics. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it it gives cool. a limit so that the players aren't like overly uh, getting too much out of a corpse. Yeah. Right, so right, like, right. You're not filling your bag with like random yeah. like important yeah. and stuff. A bit more grounded so, too. Next, we have how monster crafting works. Each monster in the supplement has required mints a PC must meet before they can craft it. Tool requirements, proficiencies, etc. If this item has a tool or screw proficiency listed, the PC must have access to said tool and proficiency with said tool. Ingredients: the player must have all listed ingredients or suitable substitute to the DM's discretion. And then you can kind of imagine, you know, you could find recipes, you could create recipes, you can kind of really get into like, you know, maybe if monster breathes fire, you take their like fire breathing organs, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's cool. Uh, the flame pouch. Yeah, exactly. You know, and then we have, you know, kind of the, it goes over a couple of different monsters here. One that I think that is a little interesting, I'll talk about a cloaker on one of our episodes. A lot yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and I talked about, I think, you know, classic that you could create, like, the cloak or hide cloak, right? Kind of give yourself that ability to, like, cloak into shadow or whatever they do. Yeah, cool. I mean, who hasn't but you also... seen the Displacer Beast because they wanted to be yeah. able to, you know, do some of the exactly. Displacer Beast? Yeah. Stuff. Right. So, like, a couple interesting things, like, you have the cloaker brain, you know. Cloakers are intelligent but have alien consciousnesses vastly different from ours. They communicate through subsonic moans inaudible to most creatures. If you eat a cloaker brain whole, you gain the ability to speak and understand their language for 24 hours. Oh, okay. You can use it to craft a nightmare bomb. Oh, this is cool. So, like, uh, each page basically has, like, a... a monster to it with exactly. various pieces that you can harvest uh yeah. and what you can get out of uh making those and crafting so that's yeah. awesome it, it nice. harpy wings right heavier than they look smelly as you'd expect go ahead and eat them if you're not squeamish and i imagine you could also you know turn them into things with the feathers Right, like this says here, oily black and almost mirror smooth. These obviously don't belong on a normal creature. The oil, when harvested, acts as a natural pain reliever in the throat and mouth. 
making it a favorite oh. tool of singers, dentists, and courtesans alike. Or they can be made into harpy feather quilts. <laughs> I see. Yeah, uh, all right. So it, it gets that got spicy in- real quick. <laughs> oh, did it? I didn't even. Are, are you taking notes, Hans? I'm taking notes, mental notes. Oh, at least. Quotes? Queen singers, dentists, you know, <laughs> and courtesans. I don't know what a courtesan is. What's that? Up? <laughs> uh, does our bard want to explain things to yeah. Sam? <laughs> What's a courtesan? <laughs> a courtesan isn't that isn't that a messenger? I don't. Can you look that up? What is Cortez? Uh, he, he's looking it up. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> so, uh, uh, oh, okay, I see, I see. Yeah. So mainly in historical oh. context, a prostitute, okay. especially one with wealthy or upper class clients. Oh, okay, it's like an escort. All right, cool. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, so, oh, okay, so the people I see at the uh, at the open clan. Got it. Right, right. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. That's a courier you were thinking of, Hans. That's a courier <laughs> thinking of. You're right. <laughs> you know, uh, was... yes, I went to the I went to the post office. Hey. There were so many courtesans. <laughs> hey, they both sent good things my way, okay? <laughs> oh, that's actually really funny. <laughs> yeah, but I imagine the DM kind of I went like, to the post like office this, to, right? to send a letter, came back with syphilis. A wyvern? <laughs> okay, wait, wanna... <laughs> yeah, the wyvern stinger, the wyvern skull. Yeah, it kind of goes, and even goes into like the sale price for like the bones, you know. Oh yeah, that's, like I just, I just went to a convention. People buy bones, bro. Like they do. <laughs> actually, got dragon that and wyvern culture. bones, you know. And we got wyvern venom. Ooh, cool. Yeah, a lot of ideas. I like it. Ooh, even ghosts, you can get their ectoplasm. Yeah, that was interesting. Oh shit, there's a lot of ideas. A you can of, steal uh, their memories. Ooh. I dig this. That sucks, kind of. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's that's I horrible. I wish I'd, I wish I had implemented something like this in my own <laughs> campaign before, because my wife and my sister-in-law, they love to salvage shit from corpse. Yeah. Just for fun. Just for fun. Like, I'm going to take this orc teeth, and I'm going to make a necklace out of it, or I'm going to take this. They always take some sort of something from the corpse as, yeah. as, as uh, you know, you know, like I like I did mention, I am kind of planning to run a Monster Hunter one shot yes. oh. pretty soon, hopefully. Cool. So this is this is like especially kind of like topical, right? Like and yeah. useful, I bet. Yeah, I like it. It's a really good idea, and it's kind of like it's given me a lot of like ideas for you know what I was already kind of thinking. Yeah, that's why I sent sure. it to you. I thought you'd like that. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate that. Shout out to Homeboy Goblin Boy One Two Three. Thank you for making it. Thank you. All right. And next up, we have... Uh, I decided to keep it rather simple this week. Uh, yeah, because I'll be empty. You, you know me. I, lo- I love my spells. And this week, uh, we have the vulnerability spell. It's a oh. fourth level uh, necromancy spell. Nice. Just this because it don't want to do good it. old stuff. There it is. Now everyone can read the whole thing. Does it kind of it kind of fits the the idea of like a curse, doesn't it? Well, vulnerability, uh, casting time, one action, got a range of sixty feet. Yeah, uh, the, the components I find interesting because it's got the verbal oh. and somatic. But for material, a dead sparrow with its wings cut. Cut off or just kind of like cut? Maybe cut. clipped. Oh, clipped the wing. Oh. Huh. That, yeah, that makes that sense. Makes, it does. Yeah, that's very like thematic, right? I like yeah. that. Let's see, concentration lasts up to a minute. You curse a creature within range with a fatal weakness. The target must succeed on a charisma saving throw or become vulnerable to a damage type of your choice for the duration. The target cannot become vulnerable to a damage type it is resistant or immune to. Okay, so you could like okay, give okay. them a fire weakness if you have like a pyromancer in your team. Hmm. Now they're yeah. getting by the crystal. I like that. That's yeah, cool. it's like the, the necromancer and, and like a you know your resident e- elementalist of the party are mm-hmm. like can kind of come together and 
tactically. And I, I well, love to you have like a paladin and or a cleric. We can make holy, right? Yeah, you could choose radiant and ah, or yeah, like radiant, say so. force. Like there's tons of yeah, things right. that are not resistant or mm-hmm. immune to like psychic. Right. And I, I like that it's a charisma saving throw and not like a constitution saving throw. Yeah. Yeah. I especially like that as a charisma saving throw. Yeah. And it, at higher levels, you can should... increase the number of targets. Oh, oh damn. That. It's kind of kind of like a more specific hex, right? Yeah. And, and I mm. really like that because just being able to give uh, vulnerabilities. Uh, it, fifth edition does not do much with vulnerabilities. It's, it's very little. Yeah. So, you know, if you can't get enough vulnerabilities, it's time to make your own. Honestly, because yeah. a lot of monsters, you know, when I talk a lot about monsters, a lot of monsters have, like, resistances, right? A lot of them have, right. like, natural, you know, high end abilities against something. Like the Kappa, right? Immune right. to water. Boom. Now you Boom. can make it weak to fire, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, you're cooking that boy, literally. <laughs> yeah, that's a turtle soup. Make some fucking turtle know. soup. Exactly. <laughs> I wonder if that's any good. Like, I've, I've heard people talk about turtle soup. I've heard soup. people eat it. Turtle soup? Yeah. People eat, like, alligator I, and stuff, too. I grew up loving I, turtles as a kid for a pet. I, I don't think I could do it, just mentally. I don't think I could yeah, do it. Yeah, I, I get that. Yeah, but I like this. It's something I would use. You know, and something that I kind of, like, always, I like when spells have components. I like when people use their components, mm. you know? Mm. How do you now, just brandish uh, a bird? You just pull a bird out of your pocket. Uh, pocket <laughs> bird. I want a mini quest where I hunt down the sparrow. Yeah, this is something like you wake up in the morning and you like, it... you like go get a bird. Like, right? I think we need to insist on more material components for uh, casters, just because that that's the everyone complains about the martial caster yeah, divide. That is that, not that really diminishes though. the moment you start demanding that the caster go find a bird. Yeah, a lot of spells have a lot of like strange or like very specific components. Like, like a lot uh, of fire block, them. bat guano. Yeah, bat like guano, a lot yeah. of people ignore. I you need know, the bat shit to spells. fire my fires. And they're just casting their shit, but like if you really keep up with that, it could be kind of tricky. Because that sounds more interesting than guy. that sounds more interesting yeah. than um than finding a sparrow. I just imagine myself finding a bat and be like shit. Shit, you motherfucker! Shit, you just have a pet please, bat and you're just out. farming your guano. I need this fireball, please. <laughs> Shit, like you're on the pet time. time. And then, and then I guess you got to go into the fact of now you're collecting bat guano and good luck with the asbestos, right? Like, I don't right. know. <laughs> I, I, I don't think that's what you meant to say, Sam, but I'm going with it. You know what I mean. Asbestos? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Whatever it's called. <laughs> Isn't it like toxic to be around like that guano and shit? Like, I don't know. It's something like that. Uh, this uh, spell is, uh, let's see, Reddit user Ariane, uh, oh, Ariane cool. Stringweaver. That sounds uh, World of Warcraft ish. It does sound it does. Like World of Warcraft. It is yeah. a uh, apparently the dangerous part of back guano is a I didn't have my hand up was a <laughs> that, that was spooky to me is a fungus that causes histoplasmosis yeah. a respiratory yeah. disease yeah Ooh. yeah it was always something because I remember this is yeah. yeah. like, asbestos courier courtesy right and there's a ton of like back guano so, like bats nice have been living in like your ceilings yeah. or something right yeah, maybe you were the thinking like of uh, like, getting like mesothelioma no, I'm if you were a loved one, <laughs> <laughs> if you were a loved one, spend excessive time gathering bat guano for local wizards in the military, you might be entitled to some compensation. Right? <laughs> I think I'd rather work in the mines. Yeah, the, <laughs> the mines the are the mine. <laughs> Not to mention, not to mention, favor and Pete, uh, favor and Peta going after you. For fucking <laughs> harassing the bats for poop in the first place. Like I'm gonna start harassing <laughs> captors if they want to cast their fireball in the universe. Do you have poop? You yeah, have poop where's, on your, you? where's your poop, man? <laughs> when was the last time you were in a cave, huh? 
I, I like the idea of changing the uh, damage type of fireball and d- demanding that you find like a different kind of like uh, animal Ooh. poop to use for it. Oh my <laughs> god! Wait, why? Why isn't the material component for fireball like like ash or like <laughs> well, like spark? It's why is it uh, bad? Yeah, uh, why is it bad? Well, there, there's it has a high sulfur content. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, and like sulfur is one of the primary components when making gunpowder. Yeah, makes that's sense. True. Makes sense. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. To be in, honest, in if a player like, told me, a... "Hey, I only got monkey shit," yeah, go for it. I'm gonna have to. <laughs> I'm gonna have the fireball so... do something completely yeah. wild. Yeah, yeah. The fire is like blue. Ooh. Right. <laughs> I, I like the idea of uh, yeah. substituting <laughs> components and having your spell go haywire. Yeah. So yeah. what Honestly, type of animals would change yes. the the um the element? Mm. Maybe like mm. a like a like creatures that are like elementally aligned, you know? Yeah, like a yeti right. shit gives you a ice bomb. Yeah. yeah. Right. Or like a if you have like a shadow creatures shit or something. <laughs> Maybe it's like a, like a, a water ball. Like a, no, like not like a bat. <laughs> <laughs> but Sam, bats are like, like dark a, types. Like a, like Pokemon a cloaker, tells me this. right? Cloaker shit, I imagine, would do something weird. <laughs> yeah, cover everything in What's ink. What's the CR of a bat compared to a Yeti and a cloaker? Like one the, fourth? One eighth? <laughs> okay, so what one other eighth, one maybe? fourth things? Like a mean snail? A cat? <laughs> a cat? <laughs> uh, I think a snail, uh, like if you just take a whole snail, you get some acid damage. Maybe. There you go. Some like poisonous, like. Spiders or something? I don't know. Yeah, just it's gotta I, be like cast, it, right? I'm gonna Maybe like cast my fireball it? with a handful of poison spiders. The, I cast uh, spider ball. Spider ball. <laughs> what is happening? What are we even talking about? It? Spider ball Z. <laughs> All um, right. Well, I think. That's about uh, what we got right there for the show, you guys. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, been, it's been a blast having you guys I'm on. Uh, well, where can yeah. everyone find you? Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Elvin. That's really only where you can find me. I do have a, a Twitter, X account, YouTube, but I don't really post on it. I, to be honest, I, I, don't like, I don't like other forms of social. I don't like social media at all. I like Twitch. Honestly, yeah, neither I do that. I. I. I use Twitter yeah. to get guests, and like I'll post some stuff here and there. Like, oh, well, may, maybe this will make people want to be guests, and that that'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, morale. Where can people find you? You can find me at Twitch TV slash Hans Half Elven. No. I'm there every Tuesday, basically. You're like, I also am there. I am also <laughs> there. <laughs> you can also find me at twitch.tv backslash round now whenever I actually stream, which nice. happens sometimes. You know, also cool if you like these people, you can also find them in our Discord now. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Imagine mm-hmm. that. We're, we're kind of cool. Oh, yeah. A bunch of cool people in our Discord. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> You can also find me at the Salty Kraken Tavern. You can find me on the Third Gallon Podcast if you want to keep on listening to this sexy voice. Oh, yeah. (laughs) See more of this awesome model? Hell yeah. (laughs) Honestly, it's just so much fun having the little VTuber thing. It's it's very distracting. (laughs) Oh, you like the physics? I do. I I love the earrings and the hair. It's great. (laughs) And if and if 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 you're in the market, for some sick ass character art, I happen to have a fiver no. that is uh, at drow underscore now because yeah. I have not rebranded there. And oh, I have put that just in the description. To say, next time, I want to see the wings like flap and look at them doing it. Like, oh yeah, they've been doing that the whole time. Have they? They, I are, noticed. they are synced up to the smile. Oh, oh yeah. that's so cool! Oh, nice. oh that's awesome! <laughs> Hell yeah! I love that. You're dope. And the eyes shrink whenever I open them really wide. Like the, the pupils. Hang on, let me oh. zoom in real quick. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Whoa. Right. Oh, wow. You got the real cat eye thing going on. Yep. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Thanks for coming, guys. This has been fun. Thank you for having us. 
Hope you guys yeah, enjoyed. Had a lot of fun today. <laughs> Absolutely. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> And you're always welcome to come back on. We, we loved having returning guests, especially when it's just like fun time and the jokes flow as they should. You know? <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. If, if morale's down, I'm down. All right, Sam. Oh, well, you know, I'm the... always down. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Sam, where can the people find us? Oh, man, you can find us on our YouTube at the Nerd Militia. You can find us on Twitter at the Nerd Militia. Imagine that. Oh. <laughs> I believe it's the Nerd Militia Zero. Yeah, the Nerd Militia Zero. Because I think we, somebody else took it from us. We got to kill him, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> well, <laughs> the challenge for a duel is kind of the Shadow Realm. So loud. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, you can also find us on our Discord. Uh, me and Orion both hang out there sometimes. Uh, you know, we do yeah, be playing I, games. I sometimes we can catch us in the there. Vibe and Chill chat. You can. Catch us talking nonsense or whatever in the general chat. Who knows? <laughs> or even, uh, you know, add some nonsense to the no context quotes. Or I've been, you can, um, I've been making catch songs us here out of that. On the streams, you know, talking about the D&D shit and the, the, the random shit. <laughs> and uh, one last thing to close out all of that. We do have our voicemail. And y'all, if you want to leave voicemail? a voicemail. Oh. Yeah, we, we do have a voicemail. Like no, a, no, I mean, did we get one? Like, no, not yet. Oh, like, I, I was hoping. <laughs> I think I think we just aren't plugging it enough, Sam. Man, yeah, maybe that's. I don't think we've talked about it. Or... So, if anyone wants to leave a voicemail and kind of like offer their two cents, an idea, you gotta or, read it out on Twitter. You can get played on the show. the The number is five one three five seven zero four 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 three. Yeah. And it's also on our Twitter. <laughs> Keep it short. No music in the background. No eating. I swear to God, I will find you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to leave one of me obnoxiously eating <laughs> chips. Yeah, no no chewing in the mic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if he played a song, that'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Hope you guys had fun with us. All right. We're Dungeons and Talk Shows. Bye-bye. We'll see everyone next week. Bye. Mm.